MGF 1106 final exam review number 35. We are looking at similar figures. We need to find the length of the missing side indicated with an X. In this case, when we're talking about similar figures, we will always have the sides stay in the same proportion. So what we need to be careful on is how we set up the proportion. So the ratio smallest to large will always remain the same and they will give you one pair complete. So we have 8 and 12. 8 is in the small triangle, 12 is in the large triangle. We want x, x goes with the 16. This is where you need to be careful though and always double check. X is in the large triangle, so it goes in the bottom. 16 is in the small one. This is why I think it's really important that you write the word smallest to large first so that you're careful in setting it up. We are now going to cross multiply to solve the proportion. We get 8X equals take 12 and multiply it times 16 in your calculator. You get 192. Divide both sides by 8, and we get x equals 24. Double check, are there any units labeled in this problem? No. If there would, we would put single units on our answer. Also make sure it is a reasonable answer. This is a should be a larger number because it is in the larger triangle. Answer to number 35 is 24. Moving on to number 36. We're dealing with a rectangle in area. So formula needs to be memorized. Area of a rectangle is length times width. We are doubling the length of each side. So 4.3 when we multiply by 2 becomes 8.6 meters. 5.6 meters becomes 11.2 and now we are just plugging it in area equals length times width 8.6 times 11.2 plug this into our calculator let it multiply it we get 96.32 this is also a spot where you need to be careful on your units. There are units in this problem. Area is a squared unit. We are in a second dimension. We had meters, 8.6 meters times 11.2 meters, which gives us meters squared. There was no rounding rule listed, so we will give our exact answer of 96.32 meters squared.